The events of the past few weeks in the Reykjanes uh, Peninsula of the Iceland was breathtaking. We had a swarm of the earthquakes, 15 kilometers long. This created a lot of havoc and uh, damage to the town of the Grindavik. The town was evacuated. The town was eastern part of it, rising western part, sinking, and a graben was forming in the middle. We had evidence for the magma rising from within the gaps as a seal. And if it could reach, it was almost 500 meters below the surface. And we were observing this through the geophysical data as it coming up and it's spreading and again it's spreading. Now it seems the Grindavik lava part under it, the magma under it, by the interpretation of the uh, data that we have, it seems that that part is solidified, but the rest of it is uh, spreading from the Sortsengi power plant, Blue Lagoon, we know it, is spreading toward the east and a little bit toward the west also, that is left and right. And the one under the uh, town of the Grindavik, it seems is going to be solidified. If it doesn't erupt, that's it, that's finished, that part is done. So the east and west part of the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon are the areas that have the hazard uh, highest level of it. So this map must be also become updated. Uh, I have to bust a few myths about the Iceland. Iceland is not on a, a hot spot, mantle plume hot spot. It is on a, a spreading edge of the mid-Atlantic ridge where we have the oceanic crust being created by the same process that we see in the Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon area, magma rising. But there is no hot plume from the mantle toward the, the it is just based on the wrong misinterpretation of arbitrary misinterpretation of the temperature gradients on some theories. What we have in Iceland, eastern part is a microplate and the western part is actually the edges created during that spreading uh, of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and part of its subducting in the east under that microplate, which was part of the Greenland in the past. And uh, now this has created this island.